the evil sister even smirked. Unknowingly, there were multiple nukes heading her way. If you like true cheating revenge stories, you found the best place for your vengeful needs. The following story, will rock your socks off. When a girl finds out, about her boyfriend's and sister's dirty little secret, she leaves their world in ashes. So be sure to grab a snack, lay back, and experience an epic cheating revenge story, sprinkled with the perfect amount of schadenfreude. Naturally, viewer discretion is advised. This revenge story might be disturbing to cheaters. This story is told, from a female perspective. I have never, ever thought I would be telling this story on Reddit of all places, but since I've been seeing everyone share their revenge stories, I got a little inspired, so I thought I would share mine. Beware. Epic story ahead. Little backstory first, I was born into a broken family, my father was a druggie. My mother on the other hand, was the kindest, strongest woman I know. Fortunately, they separated just after the birth of my younger sister, who was only younger than me by a year. I took after my mother. My sister though? Apart from my mother's looks, she got everything else from dad. Now the thing is, my father was a horrible human being, even before he became a druggie. He was an arrogant, selfish, insufferable prick and not only that, he also cheated on my mother multiple times while she was pregnant with me and my sister, and he also physically mistreated her. He was so horrible to the point that when he left, my mother said that it was the happiest day of her life. She continued raising us, all by herself, while my dad went to God knows where. And you know what? I have never even missed him. 18 years later and me and my sister are all grown up and the thing is, we've never really been that close. We fought a lot when we were younger, but it was all usual sibling fights. As we grew, we fought less and less and we were able to coexist like all siblings do, and though I didn't express it all the time, I did love her. Here's where it all goes to crap. In my senior year of high school, I started dating one of my classmates. He had just transferred during that year and said that he liked me immediately, and asked me if I was interested to go out with him. I give the guy a chance, it goes extremely well, and just two months later we were officially dating. He was sweet, would treat me lunch, take me to places and was just a great boyfriend overall. We continue to date through our first and second year of college, and he comes over at our house pretty frequently, and my mom even lets him stay the night. It came to the point that he would come over to my place, even when I wasn't. I thought nothing of it, if anything, I was even glad that he felt so comfortable there. Until one day, just a month before our anniversary. I text him that I would be home later than usual because I still had something to do in school, I was already at my third year and I was busier than I was before. Since we usually go home together, he asks me what time do I think I'll be home and I said, probably after dinner, so he can pick me up then. He says okay. Fortunately though, I managed to finish earlier than I thought and instead of texting him to pick me up, I decided to surprise him by coming to his house, since it's been a while since we spent time together and I missed him. When I got there, his sister, whom I was very close with, was visibly confused and immediately asked me what I was doing there. I told her that I was there to see her brother and she becomes even more confused and says, He told me, he was going to your house to see you though. He left hours ago. This time, I'm the one who's confused, so I quickly turned around and went home. Thankfully, our houses were only 15 minutes apart from each other, so I got there quickly. The next 20 minutes were like hell. I come home to find his bike outside. The house was dark and I try my best to go inside, as quietly as I could. By the time I got up the stairs, I hear it. Moans. Female and male. The male one sounding particularly like my boyfriend. Tears immediately flooded my eyes, I didn't even need to see, to know it was him, my boyfriend of almost three years, with my sister. My feet suddenly get a mind of its own, and I yank the door open, I was seething at this point, the bitch was sexy timing him like a mechanical bull. I stood there, as my now ex pushes her off of him, shocked as he puts his clothes back on in light speed and starts spewing excuses, I wasn't listening at all. I was sobbing so much I couldn't breathe. The prick follows me all the way downstairs and I yell at him that if he doesn't leave that instant, I would tell his entire family. He leaves. And I was left with my sister. I couldn't even look at her. I stayed downstairs calming myself down until my mom came home from work. She immediately notices something is wrong, but I don't tell her yet. Dinner starts, and I felt like crying again. And you know what's even worse? 
When my sister came down and sat just across from me, I saw no hint of remorse or guilt on her face. Absolutely none. I felt sick, I wanted to vomit, and I swear that at some point during dinner, the evil bitch even smirked. A week goes by and I don't say anything. I was so hurt. My ex wasn't saying anything too. No phone calls, texts, nothing. And so did my sister. Not a single sorry. I felt so defeated, I was crying multiple times a day and I couldn't even focus in school. One day I finally snap, and I tell my mother everything. She was extremely disappointed. She scolds my sister, but she didn't even seem to care. And then suddenly I remembered, my ex had told me his passwords. He had told me early in our relationship and I never bothered to open or log into anything. Cause I was never the type to go through my boyfriend's messages, I trusted the prick, and this is what I get. Anyway, I managed to open his messenger account and there I see it, hundreds of messages between and him and my sister. I felt weak in the knees. It had been going on for almost 4 months at that point. I took screenshots. It turns out they had been going out while I was at school. All three of us were from different schools, my sister couldn't get into mine because her grades were too low, and so was my boyfriend's. My pain quickly turned into anger, and I wanted nothing more than to make them both pay. I couldn't stomach the sight of my sister, the fact that she would go behind my back like that over some guy, made me truly sick. We were supposed to always be there for each other. After a month, I asked my mother if I can move out and live with my aunt for a while, because I just couldn't take it anymore. She was sad but she understood. I felt so sorry for her, she held my sister accountable for what she did but at the end of the day, she was still her daughter, so she can't completely turn her back on her. I didn't want to give her the burden of having to choose so I did instead. So I move out and live with my aunt, and promise to keep in touch. The next 6 months were basically me putting my stuff back together, I became a working student and did some freelance work to earn some money, and as I started to earn more, I drop out of school completely and became a full-time freelancer. As the months went by, I would earn more and more and I had more than enough money to spend on myself. From then on I started to send money to my mom to help her out every month. One day, I got curious, and decided to check on my sister and ex. When I unblocked them, I regretted it instantly. The lowlifes were in a relationship. They were together. Even worse, my sister was even flaunting their relationship on Instagram. Suddenly, it's as if no time has passed by at all, and I was angry yet again, I scroll through more pictures and it was obvious that my sister was completely in love with him. I acted on anger, I sent the screenshots I took from before and sent it to our cousins and told them everything. They all ended up hating her. And then I sent it to my ex's sister and also told her everything. She punched him and tells their parents, and a day later, I receive a text from them apologizing on behalf of their son. It did make me feel slightly better. A week later, my mom asks me to come home to spend the weekend. I decided to say yes this time. I stop by a mall on the way to get a gift for my mom and guess who I see? My ex-boyfriend, with a girl who wasn't my sister, holding hands. I couldn't help it, I just laughed, I laughed so hard. The urge to take out my phone to take a picture and send it to my sister, was so strong, but I stopped myself. As it wouldn't be painful enough. So I hide where he can't see me and followed them. After about an hour, she goes to the bathroom, I follow her there. I approach her when she comes out of the cubicle and say, is the guy you're with your boyfriend? She looked a little bit scared and confused but she answers, yes. He is. Nonetheless, I quickly tell her that the same guy is currently dating my sister and even showed her some pictures. The girl was completely horrified. She said she had no idea that he was seeing someone else, all the while I fought the urge to laugh. I tell her to get rid of him quickly and I'll tell her everything she needed to know, but also asked her not to dump him yet. So she makes up some excuse to him about an emergency at home, and they go their separate ways for the day. We meet up at a coffee shop close to the mall afterwards. There, I spill everything, including all the details about the cheating. When I finished, she looked so mad, almost as if it happened to her, and then she goes on to reveal that a long-time boyfriend of hers, actually cheated on her as well. We talk some more, and as time passed by, I came to discover that the girl was actually really sweet, and I felt sorry that she became a victim of my ex as well. She asked me if I was gonna get revenge, and I said yes, but I needed her help. But I also told her she could say no if she didn't want to. But she said she wanted to help, so I told her my plan and she was all for it. I came home that night excited, my mom seemed pleased, and my sister looked a little pissed. I didn't give a flying frick though, 
since I had the knowledge that my ex-boyfriend, the guy she destroyed our relationship for, was on his way to destroy her. The girl and I talked for the next three weeks I was there, and she would send me screenshots of her and my ex's convo, and also pics of them together. We continued to talk even after I came back to my aunt's house, and exactly two months after we met, the plan was finally in action. It was a week before my ex and my sister's anniversary, yes, they had an anniversary, and I was about to give her the greatest gift. By that time, my ex had confessed to the other girl about his relationship with my sister, but she told him that it was okay, and that they could still be together because she didn't care. Little did he know, her and I were basically best friends now, and had come up with a master plan to bulldoze his life. I come home again and spent the week there leading up to their anniversary. It was the longest week of my life. The day finally comes and after my sister leaves to go to his house, I wait a few hours. Then I FaceTime his sister to ask if the two lowlifes were home, she says yes. At that point I send it. Dozens of pictures of my ex with the other girl and screenshots of their conversations. Ones where he was telling her how much he loves her, and how he's planning to leave my sister for her, soon. There was one where he even expressed how annoying he found her, and that he sometimes just wants to strangle her. A whole bunch of other screenshots where he insults her, by calling her stupid, desperate and much more. He also said that she was awful during sexy time. That she was way too noisy, and that he barely touched her the past few days. Ouch. But it wasn't enough for me, the final touch came like a wild card out of nowhere, as it was something unexpected. I was surprised, but also enjoyed the schadenfreude, at the potential devastating effect of my new friend's idea. She was willing to send a video she recorded in which she was having sexy time with my ex. She gave me the full consent to send it. In the video, she was in the same position my sister was in, when I walked in on them. I have to admit that I did crop her face out of the video. But I made sure he would be in full view. The thing is, this prick was enjoying the moment so much, that I was sure it would make it way worse, when my crappy sister sees it. So after waiting a moment, I send the video. Then I waited some more. During all this, I was still on FaceTime with his sister, and after a while her and I hear it. Screaming, objects being thrown, more screaming, his sister comes upstairs to check on them and I hear everything. My sister was sobbing and what's even more fucked up, is that my ex didn't even try to deny any of it, and asked her to just leave. Her sister and I talk some more and she tells me how she's never liked my sister, and so did their parents, they said that they would ignore her whenever she would come by at their house. She would even ask about me sometimes, just to piss her off. After about an hour, my sister finally comes home and I just sat there, grinning like a devil, as she steps into the living room, face puffy from crying. We make eye contact and I smirked at her and said, you deserve it, before going upstairs. I don't speak to her again and for days, she refused to even leave her room. The satisfaction I felt was through the roof and I even told my mom that I could move back in now. But it didn't end there, because the story got even worse. My vengeful brainwaves were satisfied but karma wasn't ready with her just yet. So after she got nuked, there was another nuke incoming, nobody was expecting. My ex, had gotten my sister pregnant. A huge part of me wasn't shocked. But my mom was disappointed of course. We had to tell the rest of our family, and they were all disappointed with her as well. Before she gave birth, my sister told my mom she was gonna move in with my ex's family, since they have to take care of their baby. My mom refused to let him step foot in our house again. But since our houses were really close to each other, she agreed in the end. It was pathetic, it was obvious that she still wanted to be with him even after everything he did, but hey, it wasn't my problem anymore. But according to my ex's sister though, the one I had on the phone during the blowout, her parents weren't too happy about the whole thing, and although my ex said he would take the responsibility of his child, he didn't want anything to do with my sister anymore. Freaking asshole from the start all the way till the end. So I continued to live my life, working, going out and focusing on becoming even better. It didn't take long for me to finally be happy again, and all the pain and betrayal felt like a distant memory. I reconnected with my old friends, and even started dating again. I also kept in touch with the girl who helped me with my revenge, she of course has dumped my ex, broke up with him just the day after it all went down, and we're genuinely good friends now and meet when we can. I don't keep in touch with my sister at all, but according to my ex's sister, she's absolutely miserable because she had to drop out of school, and my ex barely spoke to her and is always away from her. Sometimes multiple days. 
He even brought home girls on multiple occasions and had sexy time with them in that same house my pregnant sister was in. He also wasn't there when she gave birth. I didn't feel sorry for her at all, since she chose to stay with him. But I did feel sorry for the kid for having those two bumholes as parents. They would go to our house at least three times a week to see my mother. During these visits, my sister would completely ignore my existence. Guess what? The skank still hasn't apologized. I didn't really care at that point so ignored it. But one time, I kindly offered to buy her baby some clothes, and she fixed me with the nastiest look before saying. We don't need, your freaking money. I was appalled, and then I was pissed again. Alright then, if that's how she wanted to play. Funnily enough, I run into my ex at a bar just a couple of days later. He looks so disgustingly terrible, and I question what I even saw in him. He sees me, and actually looks happy to spot me. I on the other hand, no longer felt anything for him. Well I did feel something, only pure disgust. He tries to make conversation, telling me I looked great and even apologizes. I was shocked, but his apology didn't really mean crap to me anymore. Later that night, I receive a bunch of messages from him. He was apologizing again, and then went on to say how much he regrets cheating on me, before begging for another chance and swears that this time, things would be different, and that he was gonna change for me. I laughed so hard, I fell off my bed. The ocean would dry up, before I'll even think about taking his booty back. But since my sister pissed me off once again, and I was feeling a little petty, so I sent her the screenshots of those messages with the caption, This your baby daddy? I knew she was still in love with him even after everything, and I knew that it would hurt her, to see how he's willing to change for me, but not for her, the mother of his damn child. He barely even gave her money for their child, it was only ex's parents and my mom who supported her financially. She blocked me. And no, I won't ever take my ex back. Last I heard, he started using the forbidden skittles. Fast forward to now, I continue to thrive, while she continues to be more and more miserable. We recently had a family reunion and at one point she says to our relatives that she's having a hard time and one of our cousins looks at her dead in the eyes and says. Well maybe, if you hadn't knocked boots with your sister's boyfriend, you wouldn't be in this position. She was absolutely dumbfounded, and there were tears in her eyes. I almost choked on my wine to keep from laughing. She probably didn't think they knew. Well now she does, and they all didn't bother to hide how much they despised her. She had no one on her side and was considered the disappointment of the family, but she only has herself to blame for that. By the way, if anyone gets confused because we still lived with our parents during college, I am Filipina, and this happened in the Philippines. Here, we don't move out until we have kids, and sometimes not even then. Some people won't believe my story and honestly, I'd understand. Believe me, I wish it was fake. Truly, as this particular event has caused so much stress on our entire family. About the girl who helped me, I was actually really shocked myself with how willing she was to participate, there definitely had been times, where I was scared she would out me to my ex and sister. But I guess it all just reminded her of her situation with her ex, and she also seemed mad about being used as a side chick. I didn't expect she would send a video, I asked her so many times if she was sure. My ex was a horrible person, but he was attractive and good with sexy time, as much as I hate to admit. She basically used him for sexy time and I don't find anything wrong with that, he deserved it. And to be honest, I would have done the same if it was the other way around. I get why it might seem made up, but I've literally witnessed much wilder crap happen. Believe what you want. It's not like it would affect any of us negatively. This was my story. What's done is done. Have a good day. You stay till the end, which means you're the one I make these episodes for. I want to take this moment, to thank you, I really appreciate you, because you bring me a great amount of joy. Subscribe for future uploads and show your vengeful devotion, by tickling the like button, without mercy. Do you have any experiences surrounding the topic of this episode? Share yours below, I'll join the conversation. And I'll be seeing you, in the next one.